so perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. A moment of great pride, the anthems. Scotland have clearly decided to play here with a 5-3-2 formation, Jim. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact. So they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. So we're up and running. He's had a look as a pop! guarantee you anything but the first goal is always important and that's a terrific opening. Now whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. Scotland have an early lead. Good start. Schick gets into a dangerous position. Schick really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Played in with accuracy. He's made sure that that won't get through. That's been drilled forward, cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. It's being played forward. And he's on his way! That was a good run. The defence looked beaten there. The Czech Republic have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Tries to locate someone up front. He's got options out wide. Cleared away. Out towards the flank. Tierney can get it clear. Gets it back. There has been just the early goal here. 
And the score is 1-0. Knocks it away. And it's played forward. Done very well to intervene. Quick ball forward. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Robertson. Robertson switches it towards the other side. Forward it goes. Defending of the desperate variety. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Tries to get it clear. Robertson. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Played towards the front men. Battles to win it back. Robertson. That's been won straight back. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Schick. Scotland are leading with half-time drawing close. Hoists it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And they win it back again. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, it is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They worked tirelessly for me. Scotland head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Start of another 45 minutes. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Robertson. Forward pass. Well, that's where he wants it. Great challenge. Time to perfection. And they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Drives it towards the front. Oh, good interception. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. And he's there to clear it. Lays it out to the flank. Oh. 
Scotland are still that goal to the good. And he's there to cut it out. Steered forward. Gets it back. And it's played forward. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Now, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Oh, that's neat. In it comes. Hoists it forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Forward it goes. And a play for a goal kick. With some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they've settled for a riskier approach now to defend us. Up towards the front line, finds himself eased off the ball, out to the right, gets into some space. Oh, that's nice. Goes, hits one! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Scotland are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's been levered clear. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? He's gone for it! Oh, and that should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Tries to stroke it through. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Kaderbeck. Over to the left. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Schick gets into a dangerous position. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Scotland win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.